If someone were to tell me my senior year of high school that acne was going to forever change my life, I would have thought that they were crazy. And if someone were to tell me that I wanted to be an esthetician, that I wanted to be a dermatologist when I got older, um, I definitely would have thought that they were crazy. I spent most of my high school career trying to figure out what I wanted to be, kind of trying to figure out where I fit in. And usually that kind of fell more under the arts, and the designing, um, I really liked filmmaking, I really liked creating things with my hands, and I really thought that that's what I wanted to do when I grew up. Definitely didn't have skincare in mind. I didn't really have any interest in the medical field, I didn't have any interest in skincare. And at the time, I didn't need to have an interest. I didn't really get any acne until I probably turned, probably was 18 years old, um, is when I first started getting some acne. Um, it was my first year of college, kind of distress and getting to meet new people and being shy and being away from my parents for the first time. That's pretty much what I thought was causing my acne and I thought that it was normal. My mom had told me that she had had acne when she turned 18 and went to college and that neither of us really had any acne in high school. So acne was definitely not a big part of my life until I got to college. I kind of fast forward a year after that. I was still in film school. I didn't really like it. I couldn't really find my niche. I couldn't find um, the people that I really connected with. So I kind of sat down and kind of reevaluated what I wanted to do. I actually found Paul Mitchell, the beauty school. I kind of toured there. I was interested in hair at first till I found out that you actually have to touch other people's hair. When I went to tour the school, I discovered aesthetics. I didn't really know much about it. I knew that I liked skincare. I liked taking care of my body. I liked taking care of my skin. And I didn't know where a career in skincare could take you. So I signed the paperwork. I started aesthetics. And in aesthetics, they teach you all about skincare. It's kind of a step above regular people. So you have to be licensed, you have to know product knowledge, but it's a step below dermatology. I learned all about skin. I learned all about how to take care of the skin, kind of the conditions of the skin, problems of the skin that could come up. And all of a sudden the light bulb came on. I realized that this is exactly what I wanted to be doing with my life. And I had no idea before. Before I thought, well, I'm really good at art and I have a creative eye, so I'm able to produce things that are really fun. So I thought that that's really what I wanted to do. I thought my whole life that, that I was just the art friend, the friend that did the art, that did the school projects and that kind of stuff. And I didn't really think of myself as a sciencey kind of person. I didn't think of myself as someone that was necessarily smart enough to do that kind of stuff. But it's actually pretty crazy what you can do when you put your mind to things and you kind of change your mindset. So from that day on, I kind of got more into skincare. I got really into studying. I got super good grades. I, my attendance was up. It was really changing my life. I was the only person that actually graduated from the class at that time. So I was able to kind of help teach other people. I was able to help with the class that was below me so I was able to help teach them I was able to kind of help them along as well and that's also where I found my passion for teaching the two things I really like teaching and helping people and skincare and combine them and that's kind of how I found my way to vanish I've been in the skincare industry for three years now I've worked as a stylist I've worked as hair and makeup I've worked behind the scenes I've had a retail job where I had to sell skincare and kind of know the ins and outs of that business as well and then I found my way to vanish so something that you can expect from my content I'm gonna start a series called the science of skin it's gonna be kind of like a once a month kind of a thing I'm gonna answer questions I'm going to kind of talk to you guys about more of the science behind skincare, so not just the surface level of the makeup and the products. I'm going to tell you kind of what those products do. I'm going to talk about hyperpigmentation. I'm going to kind of talk about more of the things that kind of make your skin tick. That's really where my passion is at. I definitely love showing my confidence. I love helping people feel confident and feel beautiful. I always like to say that beauty is not skin deep and acne isn't either. Acne can affect the outside, your outside appearance, it can affect how you feel about yourself. And I know that it really did have its effects on me and even to this day, it still does. So confidence is definitely something I wanna to talk to you guys about as well. So I thought that since this is my first video that I would give you 10 random facts about me. Fact number one, my name is Rebecca Jewel Maybe. Fact number two, I am covered in tattoos. So I have, let's see, I probably have like 20 tattoos. 
30 tattoos, I don't know, I've lost count. Um, but tattoos is a huge passion of mine. I'm constantly getting them, I'm constantly wanting more, I'm constantly finding inspiration for tattoos. So that's something that's a huge part of my life and you'll definitely be seeing that all over my social media as well. Fact number three, I'm a redhead. I'm a ginger, I have freckles covering my head to toe, and I've got red hair, I know you can't really tell in this, in this light, but I am definitely a redhead. And I'm proud but to be a redhead. Fact number four, I love collecting crystals and stones. I don't know why. I just, one day I was walking through the store and I saw a crystal and I'm like, that's like the prettiest thing I have ever seen. So I bought that and then I bought another one and then I bought another one and another one and now I have a big collection. So we be seeing kind of those pop in and out of pictures that I do and videos and you'll see sometimes I'll have them in the background. Fact number five, I have two dogs. My first dog, his name is Pippin, he is a pug. And my second dog is Mako, and he is a German Shepherd Husky mix. They keep me going every day, they're the loves of my life, and I'm a huge animal person, so it definitely makes sense for me to have two dogs. Pack number six. Pack number six, I think I'll go with the beach. My favorite place. Um, I love the beach, I love everything about it, the sand, the water. I live two hours from the beach, so I definitely don't get to go as often as I want. But I definitely live closer than some people in California, so I do get to go to the beach pretty often. Pack Number seven, I graduated with 12 other people in my um, high school graduating class. I went to a super small private school in Modesto, California. Yeah, there was 12 other people and me made 13. So definitely people look at me like I'm crazy when I say that. But yeah, I had 13 people in my graduating class. Fact number eight, my favorite movie is Lord of the Rings. Don't ask me why. Um, I've been obsessed with it since the first time I ever saw it. I think I was probably 10 or 11 years old when I first watched the very first Fellowship of the Ring and I've been obsessed ever since. I even have a tattoo, this is the one, the writing on the one ring. So you'll probably hear me talk about it, slip in some quotes, uh, wear some t-shirts, see some posters in the background. Fact number nine, this is actually my first YouTube video ever. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for supporting me and being active on my page and following me. So don't forget to click subscribe and also hit that little bell notification button so you can see my face um, whenever we post a new video. Okay, fact number 10, the last fact. Um, my last fact is that I'm obsessed with skincare. One of these days, I'm definitely gonna show you guys what underneath my sink looks like because there's products from 500 different companies, some products that have never even been open, some products in there that probably are expired. I have no idea because I haven't been down there in a long time. I just love products. So along with the reviews, you're gonna kind of see definitely different products that you've never heard of before and kind of like get a feel for my taste in products and what I use on my skin. To kind of wrap it up, things you can expect from me will be my skincare series that's coming out called The Science of Skin, where we get in depth with the skincare. You can be looking for reviews, you can be looking for me answering your questions. I'm gonna do a video about questions only an esthetician can answer. I'm also gonna be active on my Facebook, I'm gonna be active on Instagram, and I'm gonna be active on YouTube as well. So you guys definitely leave any questions that you have at any time on any of the videos and just tag me in it or put my name in there and I'm gonna answer as many questions. So thank you for watching and I will definitely be back later this month, Instagram Live, a Facebook Live, and another video on YouTube as well. One last thing before I go, I have to announce the winner of the giveaway. So the winner that I selected is Colleen Barbado. Thank you so much, Colleen, for sending in your question and thank you for commenting and subscribing and following us all on Instagram. And we'll definitely be doing more giveaways in the future, so stay tuned for that. And congratulations, Colleen, once again. And I can't wait to see where this journey takes us.